Hi, this is Steve Sobeck, owner of amysflashcards.com, and the purpose of this video is to show you a math trick that will enable you to quickly calculate addition problems with two or more digits rapidly in your head without paper or pencil. All right, so here's an example. Here's a problem, uh, uh, an addition problem. We want to do this in our head. When you use paper and pencil, I know that you added from right to left. And that's fine. You're writing down the digits along the way, and you could keep track of those with uh, what you write down. But when you're thinking mentally, you don't have that luxury. You, you, it's hard to keep track of the numbers all the way to the right. And you read answers from left to right. And so what we're going to do is add the numbers from left to right. It's going to seem strange at first. But after practice, it's going to come very naturally, and you'll find it easier and faster. And that's our goal. So uh, if we were adding these in our head, what I'm suggesting that you first take a look at the 3 plus the 2, and you're thinking 500,000. You don't say it yet, and I'm not going to write it yet, because it's possible that it would bump up by 1, increase by 1. You have to constantly glance at the column to the right, look at the, the, the 2 and the 7 to see if it exceeds 9. 2 plus 7 does not exceed 9, and so we're ready to go ahead and say 500,000. Okay, and then we continue in this process. So we're, we're thinking 597,000. 400, 400, why do you say 400, Mr. Sobek? Isn't 0 plus 3, 300? That's right, but I glanced at the next column. I saw that the 6 and the 7 adds up to over 9, 10 or more. Thus, I bumped that 3 up to a 4. So I say 436. Okay, so this was the only digit that had to be increased in this particular problem. Sometimes it, a lot more of the digits have to be bumped up by one. But that's the most it will change. It will never bump up by two or three. You know, it's always going to just stay the same or increase by one. It's going to take practice. We're going to do a couple more uh, examples together. Um, as I show you the, the next problem, uh, feel free to pause the video video and, and then uh, try it on your own. Okay. Okay, now that you've restarted the video, let me show you what I'd be thinking if I were attacking this problem. I'd be thinking 7,000. I don't say it until I glance over here. And I see, I see that the 2 and the 5 does not exceed 9. So I'm ready to go ahead and say 7,700. But I don't say it. I'm just thinking. I'm thinking 700. But I glance. And all it takes is a glance. And I know that that 700 has to bump up to an 800. 7,800 and... 20, I'm thinking 20, then I glance, that, that, you know, that exceeds 9, that's not going to be 20, it's going to be 30, it's going to get bumped up, 32. Now remember, whenever you're, you're finishing the problem off, the 5 and the 7, all you're thinking about is what does it end with, okay, 12 ends with a 2. You don't have to, that one had already been carried, and you're not concerning yourself with the first digit of, of that sum anymore. Only what does it end with? Five and seven ends, five plus seven, 12 ends with a two. And that's what you write down too. So 7,832. Hopefully that's what you got. Again, if, if you, if you missed that, it's uh, don't feel too badly. It takes practice, and, and we're going to give you another chance. All right, so as soon as I display the next question, 
uh, go ahead and uh, pause the video and uh, restart when you're ready to hear my commentary. Okay, now that you've restarted the video, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking 157,000, let me write that down, 157,000, 800, I'm thinking 800, but I, but as soon as I glance, I see that it's not going to be 800, it's going to be 900, and I'm thinking 30, but I don't say 30 yet, I glance, 7, 5 exceeds 9, it's not going to be 30, it's going to be 40, 40, and 7 and 5 ends with a 2. Okay, 157,942. Okay, now that you've, you've seen three examples, you understand the procedure, you need to practice that. Only with practice will that come naturally. And there's no better way to practice than with flashcards. On my website, amysflashcards.com, I have... Um, uh, flashcard like drills. So just like flashcards, you can move as fast or as slow as you like. You can display the answer instantly with a click of the mouse and you could work at, uh, I have many, many different levels of problems. Very simple problems to very advanced problems. Of course, these, uh, these two and three digit, uh, uh, two or more digit problems should only be attempted after you've memorized your addition tables. Um, and you're so you're very as soon as you see it, uh, eight and seven you're thinking fifteen you have that memorized that's instant and when you have all of those addition tables memorized then you're ready to attack these questions with two and three digits uh, so I hope that uh, with practice you'll find that adding from left to right uh, enables you to calculate much more quickly mentally and uh, you don't need pencil or paper all right so there's the trick for the day. Hope you've enjoyed that. Thanks a lot.